Surah 43. Azukruf. Context. Period of revelation. It could not be known from any authentic tradition, but a study of its subject matter shows that this surah was also sent down in the same period as Surah 23, Al Mominun, Surah 32, As Sajda, and Surah 42, As Shura were sent down. It appears that the revelation of this series of the surahs began when the disbelievers of Mecca were planning to put an end to the Prophet's life. Day and night, they were holding consultations in their assemblies as how to eliminate him, and even an attack on his life also had been made, as has been clearly referred to in verses 79 to 80. The theme and topics of this surah. In this surah, a forceful and severe criticism has been made of the Quraysh, and the common Arabs' creeds and superstitions of ignorance in which they persisted, and their stubbornness has been exposed in a firm and effective way, so that every member of the society, who was reasonable in some degree, should be made to consider the evils in which the community was involved, and its tyrannical treatment of the person who was trying to redeem it. The discourse starts in a way as if to say, you, by means of your mischiefs, want that the revelation of this book should be stopped. But God has never withheld the appointment of his prophets and the revelation of his books because of the mischief of the people, but has destroyed the wicked people, who obstructed the way of his guidance. The same he will do again. A little further in verses 41 to 43 and 79 to 80, the same thing has been reiterated. Though the people who were plotting against his life are meant, the prophet has been addressed to the effect. Whether you remain alive or not, we will certainly punish the wicked and the people themselves have been plainly warned to the effect. If you have decided to take an action against our prophet, we too will take a decisive action. Then, it has been asked, what is the reality of the religion that the people are following so devotedly? And what are the arguments on whose strength they are resisting Muhammad? They themselves admit that the creator of the earth and heavens, and of themselves and their deities, is only God. They also know and admit that the blessings they are benefiting from have been bestowed by God, yet they insist on making others associates of God in His sovereignty. They regard the servants as the children of God, and that two daughters, whom they regard as disgraceful for themselves. They believe that the angels are goddesses, they have carved their images as females, they adorn them with female dresses and ornaments, and call them daughters of God they worship them and invoke them for the fulfillment of their needs. How do they know that the angels were female? When they are rebuked for these superstitions, they present the pretense of destiny and say, Had God disapproved of these our practices, we could not have worshipped these images. Whereas the means of finding out whether God had approved of something or not, are his books, and not those things which are happening in the world according to his will. For under his will, not only idol worship, but crimes like theft and adultery, robbery, murder, etc., also are being committed. Can this argument be used to justify as right and proper, this commission of every crime and evil in the world? When it is asked, have you any other authority, apart from this wrong argument, for this polytheism of yours? They reply, the same has been the practice since the time of our forefathers. In other words, this in their opinion is a strong enough argument for a creed's being right and true, whereas the prophet Abraham descent from whom is the only basis of their pride and distinction had rejected the religion of his elders and left his home, and he had discarded every such blind imitation of his forefathers, which did not have the support of any rational argument. Then, if these people had to follow their elders only, for this, also they selected their most ignorant elders and abandoned their most illustrious elders like the prophets Abraham and Ishmael. When they are asked, has ever a prophet or a book sent down by God also given this teaching, that others beside God too are worthy of worship? They present this practice of the Christians, as an argument that they took Jesus, son of Mary, as son of God and worshipped him. Whereas the question was not whether the community of a prophet had committed polytheism, shirk, or not, 
but whether a prophet had himself taught polytheism. Jesus, son of Mary, had never said that he was son of God, and that the people should worship him. His own was the same teaching which every other prophet had given. My Lord, as well as your Lord, is God, so, worship him alone. They were disinclined to believe in the prophethood of the prophet, because he was neither a rich man nor a person of high worldly position and rank. They said had God willed to appoint a prophet among us, he would have appointed one of the great men of our two cities, Mecca and Taif. On that very basis, Pharaoh also had looked down upon the prophet Moses and said, If God, the king of the heavens, had to send a messenger to me, the king of the earth, he would have sent him with bracelets of gold, and a company of angels in attendance. Wherefrom has this beggar appeared? I am superior to him, for the kingdom of Egypt belongs to me. And the canals of the river Nile are flowing under my control. What is the status of this man is against me? He has neither wealth nor authority. Thus, after criticizing each practice of ignorance of the disbelievers, and rejecting it with rational arguments, it has been pointed out, neither has God any offspring, nor are there separate gods of the earth and heavens, nor is there any intercessor who may be able to protect from his punishment, those who adopt deviation knowingly. God is far above this that he should have children. He alone is the God of the whole universe. All others are his servants and not associates in his attributes and powers. And only such men can intercede with him, who are themselves followers of the truth, and they also can intercede only for those who may have adopted obedience of the truth in the world. Surah 43. Azuk Ruf. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Ha. Meme. By the clear book, indeed we have made it an Arabic Quran, that you might understand. And indeed, it is in the mother of the book with us, exalted and full of wisdom. Then shall we turn the reminder away, disregarding you, because you are a transgressing people? And how many a prophet we sent among the former peoples! But there would not come to them a prophet except that they used to ridicule him. And we destroyed those stronger than them in power, and the example of the former peoples has proceeded. And if you should ask them, who has created the heavens and the earth. They would surely say, they were created by the exalted in might, the knowing, the one who has made for you the earth a bed, and made for you upon it roads that you might be guided. And who sends down rain from the sky in measured amounts, and we revive there by a dead land, thus will you be brought forth. And who created the species, all of them, and has made for you, of ships, and animals those which you mount, that you may settle yourselves upon their backs, and then remember the favor of your Lord, when you have settled upon them, and say, Exalted is he, who has subjected this to us, and we could not have otherwise subdued it. And indeed we, to our Lord, will surely return. But they have attributed to him from his servants, a portion. Indeed the human being is clearly ungrateful. Or has he taken? out of what he has created, daughters and chosen you for having sons? And when one of them is given good tidings of that, which he attributes to the most merciful in comparison, a daughter, his face becomes dark, and he suppresses grief, is then the one, who is brought up in adornment and is unable to give a clear account, in a dispute to be associated with God. And they have made the angels, who are servants of the most merciful females. Did they witness their creation? Their testimony will be recorded, and they will be questioned. And they said, If the Most Merciful had willed, we would not have worshipped them. They have that no knowledge. They are not but falsifying. Or have we given them a book before it, the Quran, to which they are adhering? Rather, they say, Indeed we found our fathers upon a religion, and we are in their footsteps rightly guided. And similarly, we did not send before you any warner, into a city except that its affluence said, Indeed we found our fathers upon a religion, and we are in their footsteps, following. Each warner said, Even if I brought you better guidance, 
than that religion upon which you found your fathers? They said, Indeed we and that with which you were sent, are disbelievers. So, we took retribution from them, then see how was the end of the deniers. And mention O Muhammad, when Abraham said to his father and his people, Indeed I am disassociated from that which you worship. Except for he, who brought me into being, and indeed he will guide me. And he made it a word, remaining among his descendants, that they might return to it. However, I gave enjoyment to these people of Mecca, and their fathers, until there came to them, the truth, and a clear messenger. But when the truth came to them, they said, This is magic, and indeed we are concerning it, disbelievers. And they said, Why was this Quran not sent down upon a great man from one of the two cities? Do they distribute the mercy of your Lord, it is we who have apportioned among them, their livelihood in the life of this world, and have raised some of them above others, in degrees of rank, that they may make use of one another for service. But the mercy of your Lord is better than whatever they accumulate. And if it were not, that the people would become one community of disbelievers, we would have made for those who disbelieve in the most merciful, for their houses, ceilings and stairways of silver, upon which to mount, and for their houses, doors, and couches, of silver, upon which to recline in gold ornament. But all that, is not but the enjoyment of worldly life. And the hereafter with your Lord, is for the righteous. And whoever turns a blind eye to the reminder of the most merciful, we appoint for him a devil, and he is to him a companion. And indeed they prevent them from the way of guidance, while they think that they are rightly guided, until when he comes to us at judgment. He says to his companion, Oh I wish there was between me and you. The distance between the east and west, how wretched a companion! And never will it benefit you, that day, when you have wronged, that you are all sharing in the punishment. Then will you make the deaf hear O Muhammad, or God the blind, or he, who is in clear error? And whether or not we take you away in death, indeed we will take retribution upon them. Or whether or not, we show you that which we have promised them, indeed we are perfect in ability. So adhere to that which is revealed to you. Indeed you are on a straight path. And indeed it is a remembrance, for you and your people, and you all, are going to be questioned. And ask those we sent before you of our messengers, have we made besides the most merciful, deities to be worshipped? And certainly did we send Moses with our signs, to Pharaoh and his establishment, and he said, Indeed I am the messenger of the Lord of the worlds. But when he brought them our signs, at once they laughed at them. And we showed them not a sign, except that it was greater than its sister, and we seized them with affliction that perhaps they might return to faith. And they said to Moses, O magician, invoke for us your Lord, by what he has promised you. Indeed we will be guided. But when we removed from them, the affliction, at once they broke their word. And Pharaoh called out among his people, he said, O my people, does not the kingdom of Egypt belong to me? And these rivers flowing beneath me, then do you not see? Or am I not better than this one, Moses? who is insignificant and hardly makes himself clear. Then why have there not been placed upon him bracelets of gold, or come with him the angels in conjunction? So he bluffed his people, and they obeyed him. Indeed they were themselves, a people defiantly disobedient of God. And when they angered us, we took retribution from them, and drowned them all. And we made them a precedent and an example for the later peoples. And when the son of Mary, was presented as an example, immediately your people laughed aloud. And they said, Are your gods better, or is he? They did not present it, the comparison, except for mere argument. But in fact, they are a people prone to dispute. He, Jesus, was not but a servant, upon whom we bestowed favor. And we made him an example for the children of Israel. And if we willed, we could have made instead of you, angels, succeeding one another on the earth. And indeed he, Jesus, will be a sign for knowledge of the hour. So be not in doubt of it, and follow me, 
This is a straight path. And never let Satan prevent you. Indeed he is to you a clear enemy. And when Jesus brought clear proofs, he said, I have come to you with wisdom, prophethood, and to make clear to you, some of that over which you differ, so fear God and obey me. Indeed God is my Lord, and your Lord, so worship him. This is a straight path. But the denominations from among them, differed and separated. So woe! To those who have wronged, from the punishment of a painful day. Are they waiting except for the hour to come upon them suddenly, while they perceive not? Close friends, that day, will be enemies to each other. Except for the righteous, to whom God will say, O oh my servants! No fear will there be concerning you, this day, nor will ye grieve, you who believed in our verses, and were Muslims. Enter paradise, you, and your kinds, delighted, circulated among them, will be plates and vessels of gold. And therein, is whatever the souls desire, and what delights the eyes, and you will abide therein, eternally. And that is paradise, which you are made to inherit for what you used to do. For you therein, is much fruit, from which you will eat. Indeed the criminals will be in the punishment of hell, abiding eternally. It will not be allowed to subside for them, and they therein, are in despair. And we did not wrong them, but it was they, who were the wrongdoers. And they will call, O Malik, let your Lord put an end to us. He will say, Indeed you will remain. We had certainly brought you the truth, but most of you, to the truth, were averse. Or have they devised some affair? But indeed we are devising a plan. Or do they think that we hear not their secrets and their private conversations? Yes, we do, and our messengers, angels, are with them, recording. Say O Muhammad, if the Most Merciful, had a son, then I would be the first of his worshippers, exalted as the Lord of the heavens and the earth, Lord of the throne, above what they describe. So leave them to converse vainly, and amuse themselves until they meet their day, which they are promised. And it is he, God, who is the only deity in the heaven, and on the earth, the only deity. And he is the wise, the knowing. And blessed is he, to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and whatever is between them, and with whom is knowledge of the hour, and to whom you will be returned. And those they invoke besides him, do not possess power of intercession, but only those who testify to the truth can benefit. And they know, and if you ask them who created them, they would surely say, God. So how are they deluded? And God acknowledges his saying, O oh my Lord! Indeed these are a people who do not believe. So, turn aside from them and say, Peace. But they are going to know.